Hi guys, welcome to Wednesday's episode of the Draft of Glory, the series where we made some insane money yesterday, purposely down to that pat pull of Renato Sanchez, the 125k card. I don't know how much he's worth now, I am going to go and take a look though, because uh, promo packs have come out. And who knows, it might be worth a little bit. But I thought I'm going to take it. It seemed a bit high for him anyway. And that we also got rid of non-rares. Uh, players which were on the trade pile. Uh, a few of them for a little bit of money as you can see there. And actually thinking about that. There is a few more things I want to take a look at in the club. Because uh, of a certain SBC. Which has popped on. And it is something to do with Belgium players. So let's take a look at it. Yeah, Mig Is Migs gone up in price? Yeah, he's gone up, so I'm going to let him fly because people will have a bit playing for him. I think all these might go, including Christian Penteke. Look, 1.5k on him. Uh, Vermeulen, he's a main league one as well. Yep, 2.7k. See you later, Vermeulen. And uh, the SBCs have actually started doing work on the series finally and uh, putting us in a good position uh, to hopefully make some money back. We've also got a Lizzie League at I don't know if he's league or not, but he can go. And uh, Lestian, we'd already sold anyway, but yeah, his price has uh, gone up a little bit. So, with that, guys, if you are new to the channel, make sure you do hit the subscription button, hit the bell button as well, so you never miss an upload. And uh, feel free to leave a like right on the video. That'd be absolutely fantastic. So, day three of trying to get ourselves a Champions League item. Formation. False nine. Three, four, three, flat. Uh, five at the back, four, one, four, one. I'm a bit torn as to what to do here. I would have, like, if there was a five, triple two, uh, five, two, two, one, sorry, five, triple two would have been too much. Um, I probably would have gone that. And I don't want to get caught out with five at the back, because I know I usually struggle with, uh, with that. Dependent on the wingers, I think it might work. So we're going to go with well, wing back. Sorry, dependent on the wing backs, we'll see what we get. De Bruyne and Bale. I'll go with Kevin De Bruyne, fantastic Manchester City player, and uh, maybe Sergio Aguero. Can he pop up? Messi, Higuain. Um, Mertens as well, but I think I'm going to go Lionel Messi. Yeah, I am. I'm gonna try and get the big bad boys in this uh, this bunch of picks. No one there, so I'll go with uh, Andone. Swap them two round. Centre mid. Under Herrera, Bonaventura, Bonaventura, Fabian. Under Herrera. This is rough. This is rough. Fernandez, Lalana. Ramsey. Um, I'll go with Adam Lalana. I think over these picks. And we're not getting any strong links, which is what I'd obviously would love to get. Demarcos. I could bring him in, actually. He would be a brilliant left back, uh, right back. And then Hector Bellerin as well. But I don't. I think I'd still. And even Munier as well, actually. He would work. But I think I'd rather have Marcos. Demarcos swap them two round. And then maybe try and get um, another Spanish player at the back. Now we get Alonso and Delph, who would work better for, for both, actually, because it doesn't matter which way he goes. Um, he gets a strong link there. Now we're looking for a Spanish centre-back. We ask for one and we get one as well in him. Not the best. I, like, if I'm going to have a five at the back, guys, I want a godly defence. I'd be lying if I didn't. Radu and Sanchez. And Marquinhos as well. But Marquinhos won't fit in any way, shape or form. So I'll go with Sanchez. He's got a Champions League version as well. I don't know why he haven't thrown in my way. And then next to them, we've got Cahill. At the back with 47 pace. Marcano. No, I'll go with Cahill um, on that. And then David De Gea would be brilliant too. <laughs> okay. Rob Green. Hey, Rob Green and net. Definitely don't want that to stick. Uh, so we're looking for a goalkeeper, some defenders. And we've got a better... Ooh, we've got Florenzi. A Champions League, our first ever Champions League uh, player to be picked as well. But I think now I don't want him. I don't want him because of the fact that we've got Bartra, um, who I'm hoping may work better. And and because uh, of like the team already being built up until now, Kyle Walker. Ooh... Centre backs are alright, Jordi Alba as well. 
Would he? No, because, yeah. Um, I'll take Alexandro. I might run round in the midfield with him. He'd be a good little player. I'll take Alexandro. Now I do want some better midfielders. That's something I do want. De Rossi. See, I took Florenzi now. There's a perfect link right there. There's also a strong link uh, with, uh, with Messi. Messi there. I might be able to get away with him, actually. It means dropping out Ander. Uh, dropping out Lalana. But if I put in Benega there. Swap them two round. They're at 93 cam. I think it's dropped down a little bit. But I want to keep on going. To see if we can get a better midfielder. We've got Wass. Um, Gudardo and Wijnaldum. For now I'll take Wijnaldum. Uh, rather than anyone else. And then goalkeeper. We really do need a good goalkeeper. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the frick has happened here? We're going to have a crapper. We're going to have a crapper in net, guys. And the highest rate player there is 76. Right. So unless we get a sub-reserve goalkeeper which can do the business, we are well and truly screwed. I might take Gareth Bale there for Kem. Um, for Kem. Not for Kem, sorry. Just for having a go-to striker. Rather than the rest. I will I'll take Gareth Bale as a super sub. And hopefully be able to bring him on. I don't know. Um, Bellotti. Italian striker. Doesn't have anything on anyone else. And he won't be better than the other guy. So I will take Bellotti for that pick. Five more picks to save this, otherwise we're going to start him with a silver goalkeeper. Ooh, Raheem. Raheem the Dream and Mendy as well. But there's no difference in taking him. So I might take Raheem Sterling. And maybe end up playing him in the mid. I don't know. In in, in the uh, in the strike position on low cam. It would make sense to, wouldn't it? So, like this. Um, and then take out Benega and bring in Ander again. Uh, but I'll put Wijnaldum in there. Swap them two over. 97 chemistry. So he's on low chem, but... He looks a little bit better. Still, I didn't realise there was still low chem on there. So Messi's benched for now. A goalkeeper. Oh, Harry Kane. That's better. Yeah, Harry Kane up front. Bang, 100 chem. Okay, okay. So that's that sorted. I don't really, still don't really know what I want. Neymar, Kalasanak. Obviously, Neymar is going to be my player of choice for this one. Uh, at least we got a Champions League version of, uh, of of a card. We had two choices: Florenzi and uh, and Sterling today. Um, Delict and Verbić and Shakiri. I'll take Shakiri. And we're not getting a goalkeeper, guys. We're going to struggle, I think, to get a goalkeeper this time round. So we'll see what we've done. Defence, I'm not happy with. Really not happy with the defence. We've lit. Oh, and Messi's there. I forgot Messi was there. 85. So we've got an 85 rated team. It's down to the final pick. If we can get De Gea. Oh, Eden Hazard. Yeah, may as well. May as well, guys. It seems like we're going that way in terms of taking high rated players. Um, and might end up playing like Bale and Kane up front. And a few changes around in the midfield. But seems tough. <clears throat> it does seem tough. But who knows what can happen. And the player I'm going to have to take out there. Is. I don't know. We need a goalkeeper on the bench. I'm going to have to rock with him. Ah, I'm going to have to rock with him. I'm going to have to rock with that silver goalkeeper guys. It's like fatal all over again isn't it. Yes it is. Rating go up. 86 rated draft. Okie dokie. Sorted. Not impressed. But. What can you do? Maybe I don't go five at the back in the future. And uh, manager, we're looking for Spanish. There we go. Eight chem. So not bad chemistry on that one. He is the best choice uh, for us. So that's us finished, guys. Draft done. 
Never won the draft yesterday, but did pack a Path to Glory player. Um, still no money has been made, even though there is some players on the trade pile um, up currently, 20 players up currently, and who knows where some... I'm hoping he sells for 6.3. I didn't list him. I didn't list him as he bin, um, but there should be a bit of money coming in. Hopefully to cover this draft anyway. So guys, leave a like, comment, right not? Let's get into it and see how we do. So yesterday we got very, very lucky in the fact we lost in the draft final and did pack a road to the final player. Now, obviously, I like winning you guys i presume enjoy me winning as well and this could be the one where we hopefully get back after our four game loss streak and uh, hopefully not extend it to five um but one problem actually a few problems we were left with, with this team guys the first one is it's a five at the back formation which for me i am not comfortable with not used but this one of the reasons why i do draft is because it gets me used to um used to different formations within the game and um with different ways to play so we had to try and adapt um to the way that this formation did work one other problem we were left with we had a silver keeper in net and not the best of silver keepers either, as we were to find out um, pretty early. As Gonalons passes the ball out to Bale, Bale inside to Kante, Kante with a chip to the back post, and Rob Green just slid underneath the players, not even attempting to get the ball. But I say, I, I presume any other gold goalkeeper would have done exactly the same. Now, one problem with silver keepers, and the only reason I know this is because of the fact that I've run it in fatal. Um, long shots get absolutely smacked, regardless of if it's a perfect time shot or not. Um, the keeper is going to always struggle to get the ball out, and you can see ball into Benzema. He uh, just hits it and it beats a keeper. Usually, and I'd say this, yeah, I'd say this confidently, goalkeepers usually wouldn't uh, allow them to go in. Like if a De Gea or a Lloris or even an Edison uh, was in net, probably would have saved that as it was a normal shot, not a timed one. Um, but we go 2-1 down in this game. Wijnaldum inside the area, looking for a penalty, didn't come, got, gets the ball out there, whipped in, and Bale sneaks in in front of the player, heading the ball into the top corner and bringing us to level terms again. So... A nice uh, nice comeback, but my opponent, like I said, guys, was a very, very competent player. One which I wasn't, um, didn't really want in the first round. And uh, with Rob Green there, I would, uh, as he gets, well, this guy didn't realise what was happening. If it was to take long shots, Rob Green presumably would be beaten. Now we get caught out, guys, on a corner, moving around there, not marking the right person. He whips it on in and uh, straight past the keeper there. He makes it 3-2 in the 56 minute. Aguero from the set piece, heads the ball into the back of net. And that's the uh, road to the final one as well. He had two road to the final players with Benzema and him. And uh, I was happy. I wasn't happy, but I was like, it's not bad. We've got Rob Green in there. It's only 3-2 down. We can definitely pull ourselves back into the game. 60th minute ball into Kane. Kane gets um, blocked or finally gets the ball back there. Inside to Bale, who flicks it up and volleys it first time into the bottom of the... Um, of the goal and uh, we tie the game up. That was a brilliant finish from Bale, one we rarely, rarely see me doing the flick system now. Uh, so, so, so I was like, all right, okay, we're back, uh, we're back level in the 86 minute, guys. Uh, my opponent going on the attack, me making sure I'm getting the numbers back to cover him, charging the ball down, which is probably really daft to me. It, actually, looking back at it, guys, me running around charging the ball down is daft, but for some reason, I just don't trust draft gameplay. I don't know what it is. I trust the game uh, when it comes to rivals, but when it comes to draft gameplay, I don't. Now, we catch him on the um, on the offensive and, and actually slip the ball through to Neymar, he came, who came on at striker, and uh, we do make the game 4-2 and grab a tight victory uh, against Sonji FC. So that's the first round done, and now we're pushing on into the next round, which is up against Ronaldo, Salah, uh, Milinkovic, Isguadero, Kolas, uh, Kovacic, sorry, Inform Hazard, Alonso Van Dijk, Sanchez, Champions League card, Bellerin, and uh, Lloris in net. Nice, uh, nice team, and uh, 98 chemistry uh, as well. But one thing I didn't like about this this game, or or this, yeah, just this game in general, guys, is St James's Park. Wow, is this game got some horrible shadows in it. I don't know if you guys can see it in the bottom, but in-game it's difficult. Even the shadows when it comes to on the players as well just was absolutely disgusting. I find it very difficult to play in it. But um, we do make it 1-0 with a fantastic finesse shot from Lionel Messi. Smashing it in with his left foot into the top corner. And uh, then in towards the end of the game, guys, we're still defending, trying to see out a 1-0 victory against our opponent. Whip the ball out to the wing with Fabian Delph. Inside to De Bruyne. Over to Delph as well. His stamina's gone. Inside to Gareth Bale. 
we get the uh, ball taken off us, but a lazy pass there by Van Dijk allows us to get the ball into Wijnaldum, and Wijnaldum gets his second goal of the draft, and uh, does give us a 2-0 lead in the 88th minute. That was game sealed. The opponent had the start button pressed anyway, um, but he just disconnected, guys. We get a rage quick victory in the 88th minute. Through to the semi-final. This time up against Asensio, um, random striker who I don't know, Gareth Bale, Cruz, Kante, Cook, uh, no, Sol, uh, Bertrand, Cahill, Smalling, De Gea and De Marcos. Nice team, a little bit of a hybrid going on there as well and I was, was going to presume that he was going to take a striker off but in the first 10 minutes... Um, we intercept him in the midfield, ball into Herrera, Herrera with the ball to Andone, who we were taking off, and Andone slips the ball inside to Herrera, who luckily re redeems the ball off the opposition and does put in the time shot and makes it 1-0 in the 11th minute. Nice finish, I'm taking advantage of everyone before we get our subs on. But Kane through to Bale, Bale with the free run on the goalkeeper, goalkeeper commits, we put the ball just past him and make it 2-0 in 31 minutes. Nice finish. Start button pressed. I thought at this stage, it's only 2 0. My opponent would prob probably go and make some changes because he slid a, a few uh, opportunities in the game. That wasn't to be, guys. A rage quit in the semi as well. That sees us through to the final up against an 89 chem team with one of the live items, which is Perisic. He's got informed Sandro. Um, Musaccio, uh, inform goalkeeper, but apart from that, and Gareth Bale as well, it's not the nicest looking of teams, is it? It just isn't. It's 23rd minute though, we get the ball, it's whipped on in guys from the corner and... Um we were not having fun on corners in this uh, in this draft. Ball through to Cahill on the outside. I think it deflected out to him. He gets it inside to Messi. Messi lining it up and scores an absolutely beautiful time shot. Whether this changes now, because I think as you guys are going to be watching this video, the update should be out and uh, time shots have finished now. But apparently... The likes of Messi and stuff are still unaffected by uh, changes, especially when they're not challenged. I don't think he was challenged at that point. Who knows what's going to happen. Ball into Kane. Kane with the ball through to Messi. Messi with the delicate chip over the keeper who just jumped in the air and didn't have any conviction to his jump. We make it 2-0 in the 30th minute and this was looking like we could be returning back to winning ways, guys, in the draft final. 38th minute, ball into Bale. Bale through to Kane. Kane waiting for Bale to make the run. Luckily, we keep the ball. We're able to drive it inside the area, turn back, get it through to De Bruyne and De Bruyne with the finesse shot into the far corner and uh, I was surprised to actually beat the keeper there. We make it 3-0 in the 40th and this would be the final goal of the game and a draft final victory for myself. Now, one thing I do want to do is hopefully try and get better packs than yesterday. I doubt it, but let's see what we get. I'm back to winning ways, guys. Halfway through the week, I thought I was going to struggle in the first game, overcome that one, overcame the second one, and then it was a bit of a breeze up until that point. You can see how the team lines up. Later on in the game, we're swapping Bale down into centre mid for Wijnaldum, Wijnaldum off and, have it, and uh, Neymar on. Uh, Tilt healer disappearing after the 3-0 um, win there, and there's some insane shots. Rob Green, of all people. Imagine winning the draft, guys, with Rob Green in net. Look at this save. Bang. Right at him, but he pulls off an acrobatical save. Uh, we then hit an absolute fantastic goal with Lionel Messi um, in the final, you can see the ball in lines it up on his left foot, sinks it into the top corner and uh, it gets even better Rob Green with another save here in the 25th minute to make it, uh, keep it at level terms, straight eye makes an acrobatical, acrobatical save and this goal by Lionel Messi was insane nice run there, slide in by Harry Kane, a delicate chip over the keeper um, killing the game off and then it was just all us up until the end so yesterday we packed a Champions League card, I'm hoping the same can happen again, 4-3, 2-0, 2-0, 3-0 on our way to victory and we hit a rare player pack and a goal pack come on guys after saying that I doubt there's going to be anything in there. But we are going to clear the trade pile, guys. Show you what's sold. Uh, McTarian 6.3, 850, 1,300, 1, uh, 1,900, 650, 700. And a few of the other high-rated Belgians going for an insane amount of coins. And I've also listed up the informed player as well. Because I've seen that he's going uh, for more than he's been. Now... Browse packs. Goal pack first. Consumables would be nice if we can get a bunch of them. Or even a huge player would be insane in a goal pack, but I doubt it. And I'm hoping that that 50k pack can give us something good as we hit a Marvy. That's not bad. French left back. How much is he worth? I've already I've already got him in the club. Um, we'll list up the fitnesses for 200. And same with the um, same with the right forward to right wing. How much are they worth? Nah, they're not really worth anything. 
I think there are 200 of them ones if they in fact even sell. Um, discard the rest. I'm curious on Amavi, how much he worth? 400. Right, we'll let him go and open. Uh, we'll discard that, 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 that. Uh, and not that player, actually keep that player. And hold on to the rest. So, uh, 192 coins back. And now we're on to the 50k pack. Come on, game. Give me, give me an 86 plus. Nothing. Still could be a Champions League card in there. We're getting informed, though. So, we, may, we have made our money back, guys. And it is a French right forward. 81 rated, is it? Yeah, 81 rated Labore. Um, maybe we've got a hidden Champions League card in there as well. Let's see, let's see, let's see. No, Moo. Manalas. Hey. We're going to sell him, obviously, now. Hold on to the... Actually, Real Madrid, they were an expensive team. Yeah, not really. Um, hold on to the rest of the players. Send them to the trade pal. Hold on to them lot. And then how much does he go for? Is he even got any open bids on? Let's see. Laborde, right forward. It doesn't look like he is actually uh, 11. He's got an open bid on, so we'll sell him as well. So altogether, guys, not a bad episode. Going to check how much um, how much Manalas sells for. Wasn't he in form last week as well, Manalas? Manalas, or is that another one I'm thinking of? Manalas is like 12, 13. Oh, I'm searching special. All right, gold. 13. So 12.5k there, I'm seeing. On him. How much is it though? Yeah, 11.2. Right, I'm best off getting rid now. 11.250, 11k. So he's probably cheaper than that, like close to that. 11, 5, 10, 500, 10, 750, 11. Right. Just under 11k for him. So that's money in the bank, uh, which is nice. We actually made really good money today. So 10, 10,750 uh, for him. And then we're going to search Laborde Special, and he can be the final one. And then we're, we're happy. We're absolutely rolling today. today. Uh, so Laborde, Laborde and Special. How much is the cheapest bin, dude? Looks like Informs have gone up in price. So his cheapest bin is thirteen two fifty, but is it is it the cheap? Yeah, oh, thirteen seven fifty. Right, thirteen seven fifty for Labarde, and it's been a good episode as well. Not as much money as we made yesterday. You can see Manas has sold for ten, so eleven seven fifty on it. I've forgotten what it was now. I got distracted. Was it thirteen? Thirteen seven fifty on it. Yeah, thirteen seven fifty. Or 13500 I'll let someone get him for um, on him. So, not bad. Not bad at all. Definitely money made. 13500 13, And that's him gone as well. So, there we are, guys. Fantastic episode again. And we're creeping up the money. I absolutely love it. So, leave a like, rate, and guys. Subscribe now. Until next time. Bye-bye.